Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another reaction. This camera's mad crooked. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another reaction. This one right here, it's honestly a strange ass lineup. The Kid Leroy, Young Cook, and Central C. They just said we don't want any rappers from the Western Hemisphere. Like, what? What kind? Who? Did DJ Khaled put this together? Like, who's putting these three rappers together and saying that we're making a banger? The Kid Leroy, Central C, maybe I could see, but Jung Cook being on there is so random. But to me, Jung Cook is probably outside of the rappers. If we're talking about just the singers of BTS, Jung Cook's my favorite. Uh, so I'm mad excited for this. Don't know what to expect. Don't know what we're going to get. Follow us on stream, ladies and gentlemen. We do New Music Friday. Today's Saturday. But we normally do it every Friday, maybe on Saturdays if I miss Friday. But we do do a lot of K-pop. We do a lot of different reactions that drop. So if you want to see yourself in future videos, join up. Also join Patreon. We're going to have a lot of commentary on Patreon, more so than we have on the channel. Central C and Dave's album is on Patreon in full. Uh, the Kid Leroy is on there heavy. BTS in general is on there heavy. Uh, so join Patreon. But... Other than that, let's see what the Kid Leroy, Central C, and Jungkook got for us. Don't think about it too much. If we had the chance and the time to spend, would you do it again? Would you do it again? Was it too much? Hey, Jungkook might be the best vocalist in all of K-pop. Can't even front, can't lie to you. It's just with the facts. Was it too much? Was it too much? What's up? Was it too much? The hair's different. Looks like Biebs right here, if I'm being honest, threw me off guard. Would you do it again? Would you do it again? Was it too much? Was it too much? Now you're calling your friends, cause I'm gone again. When I'm back around, would you do it again? Was it too much? Was it too much? So tell me what got in the way And how I Ooh. thought it was good that it changed And I'm saying I'm sorry again Oh, I can never get out of my way Get to start your wardrobe Bro, I've been fucking so heavy with the Kid Leroy's new sound <laughs> He needs some milk didn't mean to hit that other one, but the Kid Leroy's new track is going, or the new sounds have been going so crazy. It sounds so grown up. We're moving, we're moving past emo rap days, I feel like. Damn, bro, when he's on the acoustic singing shit, when he's on this shit right here, he's just going stupid. I could definitely hear Justin's, like, I could definitely hear his, inf like his influence on the hook, because it sounds very Justin-y with the way that he writes his melodies. He's just got a way with his, uh, like, he's got a signature sound, Just uh, Justin Bieber does. In the same way that another artist that we do frequently, John Bellion. Like, you know when John Bellion wrote a hook. Like, when I heard Holy by Justin Bieber, I already knew it was John Bellion <laughs> that wrote that track. Never get out of my way. Get to start your watch on your face. It's a lot that you do is complain. You keep on throwing it back in my face. And now you're telling me I need some space. So, I'm laying in my bed, tripped up the shoes now. I'll hey. be there before I'm without you now. Hey. Realize I'm so excited to see what Central C is going to do on this because obviously Central C is kind of like a more, I don't know, he's like a rapper rapper, so he doesn't really hop on like pop tracks like this, at least from what I've heard from him. So I'm excited to see what he does. Was it too much? Was it too much? Am I doing too much? Do you understand my slang and get my sense of humor? When your girlfriends tell you I've been fucking around, would you believe me if I told you that they're lying and that's just a rumor? Hey. Send you my personal driver, man, this ain't just a Uber. You know it's serious when you stay at mine and bring a toothbrush. Hey. Extra panties in your bag or some makeup removers. You know I'm hardly on my own because I stay with the shooters. Hey, stay with the shooters hard. Like he's hardly on his own because he got a bodyguard. But if the girl's bringing a toothbrush over, bro, that's your girlfriend. I'm sorry to tell you. I don't know if you know. Maybe you didn't want her to be. Have you? As for those that have seen Seinfeld, there's an episode where George is like trying to not have a girlfriend. And then Jerry's like, let me ask you this. 
are there any Tampax in your house? And he's like, yeah. He's like, uh, sorry, I hate to tell you, but you got a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, he's sliding. It's just the combination of all the different accents in the track that make it unique because obviously he's very UK. Jungkook clearly still has an accent, even in English. Kid Leroy really doesn't have an accent, even though it's from Australia, That, but that's because it drops when you sing. Get your panties in your bag or some makeup removers. You know I'm hardly on my own because I stay with a shooter. She called me daddy, she got issues, I am not a father. Hop off the boat until the jet leave the yacht at the harbor. She injected them with a Zen bitch trying to stop her hunger. Huh, I went before you came so I could fuck you longer. Ozempic, for those that don't know, is a type 2 diabetes drug that people take in order to suppress hunger, uh, even if they don't have diabetes. It's very controversial because obviously you're taking away diabetic medicine from diabetics that actually need it. But it's a very it's very like trendy in the celebrity world. I hate it. She injected them with a Zen bitch trying to stop her hunger. Huh, I went before you came so I could fuck you longer. It's hey, a show for driven, just tap your address in. Pack your bag on, we can board the next flight, we could check in. Make sure you check that you ain't fuck all your Bro, I wanked before I, you came over so we could fuck longer? That one's kind of strange. I can't even lie to you. <laughs> That's almost as strange as the sometimes I feel like I'm bi because you're one of the guys by Drake. I don't know. That's, that's a pretty strange line from Drake. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Just one of those, you know, like it's just only Central C type type shit. Like only he can pull that kind of shit off. The way we say, ah, that's a Drake line. Ah, only Drake can get away with that. Only Kanye can get away with that. Same thing for Cinch. Pat your bag on, we can board the next flight. We could check in. Make sure you check that you ain't fuck all your antidepressants. Before I fly you out again and you made me regret it. Set time for Make sure you packed your bag with your antidepressants so I can fly you out again and make me regret it. I actually fuck with Jungkook and the Kid Leroy's voice vocal styles together. They're both high pitch, but they have different tones to them. And honestly, Central C on this track is nice because Central Cinch has like a deeper tone voice. So it's like a good combination of the singers singing up here and then he comes in rapping down here. If you had the chance and the time to spend, would you do it again? Would you do it again? Was it too much? Was it too much? This song is gas, bro. Was it too much? <laughs> It reminded me of when my time, one time in high school, my boy had staph infection and he literally had a hole in his back that the doctor could stick his pinky like halfway between the first knuckle and the second knuckle. He had a hole in his back. It was a perfect circle. And I was like, damn, son, you're getting eaten alive by bacteria. That's crazy right there. That's what reminded me of it. Kind of kind of kind of looks gross. Not even going to lie. One to ten. I'm low key giving that like an eight and a half. It's a nice little summer bot. No, no, not even summer. It's a nice little fall bot. It doesn't have summertime energy, but it also doesn't have winter energy. It has the leaves are changing. It's cuffing season. I don't know you enough, but I still want to fly you out type shit. It's nice. Jean Cook did his thing. Low key, I wish that Jean Cook kind of had a verse. That would have made the song mad long, though. So I appreciate that he didn't time wise, but I always want to see what Jean Cook does with a verse. But I think he killed the feature. I feel like the more that these solo individual artists of BTS and K pop groups, the more that they hop on things on their own, the more that I feel like the level of respect that K-pop gets is going to raise. Just because like people, when they see the name BTS, they have this stigma already about K-pop. When it's like if it was like the Kid Leroy's Jungkook of BTS in Central C, there would have already been like a negative connotation to it for at least the people that don't like K-pop. But if you don't like K-pop, there's no fucking way you know that Jungkook is part of BTS. So when you when you see this as a K-pop hater, and you just see Jung Cook, you're like, oh, that just must be some dude. And then you find out he's the main vocalist of, of BTS. But yeah, Jung Cook killed the feature. Central C just had like enough. He, he brought the swagger and he had just enough like playful lines 
like the Ozempic line is a playful line, the wanking it. Like if you text your girl that, like, hey, yo, I just, just, I just jacked off so that we, we could, we could fuck longer when I see you this weekend. There's no way she's not laughing. It sounds weird to us because we're not in the relationship, but he's not talking to us. He's talking to the girl is on the antidepressant medication and Ozempic. This bitch is just living at the pharmacy. I just realized. But yeah, it's a perfect song, really. For what it is, for the vibe it's trying to provide, all three of them killed it.